It's Ben Housel here and just answering a quick question about what happens when we need to replace or remove an audio track that we've placed uh, on the main storyline. So you can see here when I grab this audio track I can't move it, it's kind of trying to move my whole timeline and basically it's because it's uh, located on the main storyline. So there's a couple of different ways of doing this. The first um, is if I select the audio track, so this central audio track here and hold down shift and tap delete and that will delete the audio track and then I can select my clips here and hold down Alt, Command and the down arrow and that will drop my clips onto the main storyline and then we have this slug here which we can now delete. So basically we've removed that audio track and now we have our replacement audio track on a connected storyline which is a much better place to locate it because it means we can edit on our main storyline all our video clips and then have our audio track on that connected clip so if we move it it's not going to move those video clips. I'm just going to take a step back here. Some people I have seen work where they do actually add a slug to the main storyline and then just edit on a connected clip uh, where they might select clips and group them together and stuff like that and that's fine whatever works for you is is kind of good. And then another way that we can do this, I've just gone another step back, is that we can take all these clips and on our connected clip and then if we drag these down to the beginning it's going to put them at the beginning of our clip we can then move this second audio track back to the beginning where we want it and delete the audio track that we're trying to remove. So just a little bit of getting used to the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline. If you're used to being able to drag things around on tracks and stuff like that, it doesn't work in quite the same way. But basically there's a few tips and tricks for moving things around that hopefully should help you out. If you have any questions about this, then leave them in the comments below. I'm sure there's stuff that I've missed out, um, but I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial and hopefully this answers a couple of your questions.